My name is Matt and I am an Applications Engineer with Intersil Corporation. Today I'd like to talk to you about the Power Management section of iSIM. iSIM is an interactive web-based tool that allows you to select your supporting components of your design, build your schematic, and then do online validation. It is very easy to use and best of all, it's free. Let's go ahead and take a look. The easiest way to get to iSIM is by going to its landing page by clicking on the Tools drop-down menu and then clicking iSIM. From here, you can choose which topology you would like to use. This will redirect you to the parametric search table where you can find your proper device that you would like to use. In this case, we're going to use the ISL8002. Once you have selected your device and entered the iSIM tool, you will be presented with a set of initial design parameters. In most cases, these parameters are input voltage, output voltage, and current draw but certain devices have additional parameters that are needed. This particular example allows you to select between internal and external compensation. After you input your design information, you can then press the design button to create your optimized schematic, or you can press the custom design button. If you select the custom design button, more in-depth options become available. You can customize your output inductor, your output capacitor, and your input capacitor. You can either use the calculated values that are given, or you can input your own by clicking the custom button. For this example, I'm going to do just a standard design. Once you're finished, click the design button. Now that you have entered all of the necessary parameters, you will then be directed to the design page. The design page is the central location for viewing schematics, editing components, simulation, and analysis. Let's take a look at all the sections of this page. The top right area is the dashboard. This area will give you a quick estimation of the current circuit's performance. The parameters it displays are the full load efficiency, the full load power dissipation, the crossover frequency or bandwidth, the phase margin, and also a PCB footprint area calculation. The product information button is a link to the device's product information page on Intersil's website. Next, let's go over the tabs that are located on the left side of the page. The first tab is the schematic page, which is shown. The second tab is the bill of materials page. This page shows your bill of materials with actual component part numbers. Each component can be individually modified to desired part numbers or manufacturers. Once it is to your liking, you can export in the form of a spreadsheet. The third tab is the Efficiency tab. This page allows real-time analysis into the efficiency and power loss of your system. As you change your component values, you will see a live update of the graphs. For instance, if we change the inductor's DCR from 30 milliohms to 100 milliohms, you will see both graphs update. You can also check to see data points at specific load values throughout the efficiency graph just by hovering your mouse over the waveform. Before any updates are made to your circuit, you must click the Apply to Schematic button. Until that button is pressed, no changes are saved. The fourth tab is the Compensation tab. Just like the Efficiency tab, the Compensation tab gives you real-time updates to see how changing certain component values affects your system. Since this example has internal compensation, you can only change the feedback capacitor. All you need to do is click and drag the slider to see your new phase and gain plots. The last tab here is the Redesign tab. This tab will allow you to start your design over or create a new design with different parameters. For example, if you wanted to use external compensation, you would click the external and then design. If you now go to the compensation tab, you will have access to all compensation network parameters. Heading back to the main design page, next let's review the types of analyses that are available. All of our devices have one or more of the following simulations available. AC analysis, transient, steady state, and startup. 
For this device, the available analyses are AC, transient, and startup. By conducting the AC and transient analysis, you can verify the main specifications of your circuit, including stability, output voltage, output ripple, and the voltage drop during the low transient. Let's go ahead and run one of these simulations. Once your simulation is complete, press the OK button to open the web scope window. Here I would like to point out some of the helpful features that are available in the web scope window. First, I would like to point out the cursors. The cursors are available at the top right and top left of the waveform. Drag the cursors to take data measurements which are located at the bottom of the viewer. Also available here are waveform measurements. The measurements are located in the drop-down menu at the bottom right of the window. The measurements without the M in parentheses will take the entire waveform into account. The measurements with the M in parentheses will only take into account what is between the cursors. Finally, a sometimes useful feature is having the ability to turn on and off waveforms. To do this, click on the checkboxes located next to the waveform names. To finish up, close this waveform and head back to the design page. With your circuit complete and analyzed, the design is nearly complete. There are two options you can take from this point on. The first option is to create a design summary. The design summary is a one-stop shop that contains all of the information about your circuit that can be downloaded into a handy PDF. This summary includes your input and output parameters, your circuit schematic, the efficiency and power loss graphs, any simulations that have been ran, and a simplified parts list that can be downloaded to an Excel. To download the full design summary, go to the top of the page and click the PDF download link. The other option you could take is to go back to the design page and then download the schematic to be used offline on the iSimPE tool. For more information on iSimPE, the offline simulation tool that complements the online tool, please see application note AN1652 and other videos available on the iSim landing page. Thanks for watching, and for more information or to register for iSim, please go to intersil.com forward slash iSim.